My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 6, that extends from March 31st till April 4th. We're going to start this week by a reading comprehension class, where you're going to uh, read and comprehend unseen texts. The objective of this lesson, you're going to be able um, to identify the main idea of the text, gain a deeper understanding of the text, increase reading comprehension, expand vocabulary, and improve writing. The word wall includes unseen text, reading comprehension, scaffolding, short responses, long responses, skimming and scanning, fiction and nonfiction. We are going to start this lesson with a PowerPoint. This PowerPoint will tell you more about reading comprehension, the definition, the three levels of comprehension, the question and techniques, how to develop comprehension, what does it mean, after that, you're going to watch a video about what reading comprehension is and how to improve your reading skills. After that, you're going to have an interactive activity where you're going to read texts and answer questions related to that. After that, you're going to watch a video about uh, skimming and scanning skills. It explains what to read while skimming and how to scan texts. Then you will have another interactive activity related to uh, skimming and scanning. You will have further practice and uh, here you are going to have a set of challenging questions that you are going to answer. A self-assessment and for uh, what to do next I would like you to refer to the next page to prepare for the uh, unit. Lesson two, you're going to use an organization structure to produce a cohesive and coherent speech answering one of the prompts. Our word wall includes ecological terms, biosphere, ecosystem, biodiversity, sustainability, habitat, conservation, pollution, climate change, extension. You're going to have a PowerPoint related to that. Then you're going to watch a video about One Earth. This is going to help you to gather information or to give you ideas what to think about when you are uh, writing your speech. After that, you're going to have an interactive activity. Then you will watch another video to assess your understanding. Uh, this video is about climate change. It's a short cinematic video, and uh, it's going to tell you more about climate change and what to do. Now your task is going to be uh, to produce a coherent and cohesive speech, reflecting on the following prom prompt. You're going to imagine Earth whispering to you, sharing its stories of vibrant ecosystems, diverse creatures, and breathtaking landscapes. Now picture its worried murmurs about rising temperatures, polluted rivers, and disappearing forests. Write and deliver a powerful speech that amplifies Earth's message. You will have a further practice, a self-assessment, challenging question, and after that, in your opinion, can a speech manipulate people into believing something that is not true? For lesson four, you're going to have peer and self-evaluation, where you are going to understand the importance of peer and self-evaluation. You're going to demonstrate the ability to provide constructive feedback to peers, and you're going to critically reflect on your own uh, work to identify areas of improvement. Our word wall is going to include reflect, peer, evaluation, self-evaluation, creativity, and understanding. You're going to watch a video about peer evaluation, and then you're going to exchange no notebooks. Now you're going to evaluate your peers' writing depending on the following criteria. You have criterion B, C, and D. You will have another video that talks about peer assessment, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. Of course, you will have further practice, and you will have a link for the challenging question for this time, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to evaluate your own work using the same criteria given and giving yourself a mark about that, giving yourself notes. For lesson five, you are going, we're going to delve into poetry this time. You're going to recognize the features of poetry. You're going to read and annotate the poem. Our word wall includes public stanza, verse, line, rhyme, simile, metaphor, personification, alliteration, anomatopoeia, imagery, symbolism, theme, tone, and mood. We're going to watch a video about turtle watchers, 
and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You are going to watch another video about the text itself, and you are going to have another activity where you're going to explore pollution and its impact on marine life. You're going to make a booklet. In this booklet, you're going to explore the various types of pollution affecting our ocean, uh, the sources, and the impacts they have on marine ecosystem. We, we will also learn about the importance of preserving marine life and ways in which we can help protect our ocean. You're going to divide uh, your, um, your booklet into uh, four sections. First, understanding pollution, impact on marine life, protecting marine life, and references. Of course, you will have a link that will help you. Uh, you will have quizzes if you want to, um, to learn more about turtle watchers. Further practice and for the challenging question, if a plastic bottle takes 450 years to, de to decompose in the ocean and there are currently 8 million tons of plastic waste entering the ocean each year, how many plastic bottles could potentially accumulate in the ocean over the next 50 years? A self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to find the literary devices used in Turtle Watcher's home. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.